Hey Jules Plus Vegan and as always welcome to my channel and for those of you who are new I know you can benefit. So people I'm going to be talking about tofu. <laughs> no it's not raw vegan but it is plant-based and it's got a lot of great properties. Uh, so I have a fantastic article by Scott Burgett. He's known as the plant-based Scotty uh, or PBS not to be confused with the public broadcast service right. And this says, is tofu healthy? 21 tofu benefits and disadvantages. And it's science-based and I appreciate that he was fair and telling both. I'm only gonna do part one right now because it's a long article and I'll do part two tomorrow. But I am very interested in it because I do enjoy tofu. I ate it for years. I'm just interested in what the benefits are. Okay, so it reads, the controversy surrounding the health benefits of tofu is constantly shifting. One year is a health food and the next is a food to avoid. It leaves you frustrated and confused about whether you should include tofu in your diet. This article will remove that frustration by giving science-based information on the issue to guide you in your understanding of all things tofu. And of course, I'll include this in the description of the video. What is tofu? Tofu comes from soybean curds. It's also naturally a gluten-free product that has no cholesterol. It's made by pressing condensed soy milk into tightly formed blocks called tofu. Over 2,000 years ago, it's rumored that the Chinese discovered it accidentally by combining soy milk with nigari, which is a coagulant that is the afterproduct of extracting salt from salt water. Then, in the early 1900s, most of the soy production moved to the westernized world where it dominates the market today. Tofu benefits and disadvantages. Tofu has a vast number of positive <clears throat> health benefits. It's been shown to help fight disease, increase bone health, and make your skin more elastic to name a few. Not only that, it's an excellent source of protein, calcium, and iron. With only a few controversial disadvantages, let's keep reading to see if we should include more tofu in our diet. Number one is a nutritional powerhouse. Tofu is a high protein vegan and vegetarian protein source that's considered a complete protein because it has nine, all nine essential amino acids. Along with protein, tofu is also rich in vitamins and minerals. And the breakdown for just three and a half ounces or 100 milligrams is eight grams of protein, two grams of carbs, one gram fiber, four grams of fat, 31% of the recommended daily intake of manganese, 20% calcium, 14% selenium, 12% phosphorus, 11% copper, 9% magnesium, 9% iron, 6% zinc, and a partridge in a pear tree. I mean, how can you not do that? <laughs> when there's a countdown of numbers, I'm all in. Additionally, one serving is only 70 calories, making tofu a low calorie nutritional powerhouse. Number two, it's good for your heart. Research consistently shows that a diet rich in beans and legumes is great for heart health. In fact, a 2001 study, which is a hyperlink for the study if you want to know more, showed that eating beans four times per week lowered heart disease risk by 22% compared to those who ate them just once per week. And again, this is separate than raw vegan, which has so many benefits in itself for being raw. But for those who are plant-based and already eat beans, the more the merrier. Tofu also contains isoflavoids, and I'm probably saying it wrong. Think of them as scavengers for potentially cancerous cells in our body. These isoflavoids have an anti-inflammatory property that street sweep our arteries so that blood can flow freely to our tissues. Tofu fights type two diabetes. 30 million people in the US have diabetes. And this is from 2019, so of course it's increased. Likewise, an extra eight million people may not even know that they have it. This is a scary statistic, but tofu can help you avoid becoming one. A one-year study conducted in 2012 showed that patients taking 100 milligrams of isoflavoins per day improved their insulin sensitivity, because insulin resistance is a huge thing, right? Insulin sensitivity gets measured by looking at how effective your body is at taking the sugar from your blood into your cells. Better insulin sensitivity equates to better blood glucose control, 
which is essential in preventing type 2 diabetes. Number four is protective against cancer. Phytoestrogens that tend to get a bad rap, yet it's been confirmed in multiple studies that they help reduce the risk of certain cancers. In short, phytoestrogens block estrogen from attacking, attaching to our cells, therefore reducing the amount of total estrogen in the body. In short, phytoestrogens, again a hyperlink, block estrogen from attaching to our cells, therefore reducing the amount of total estrogen in the body. Too much estrogen can lead to severe complications like cancer and other cardiac events. Research conducted at the University of Southern California suggests that women who consume just one serving of soy milk or tofu, so again, three and a half ounces daily, are 30% less likely to develop breast cancer. Another study out of the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition showed that an increased intake of soy actually reduced the risk of prostate cancer by 25%. Not only that, when ingesting non-fermented soy products like soy milk and tofu, the risk rejection increased by an additional 5%. This may explain why the Asian population, again a hyperlink, tend to have low levels of cancer. Who doesn't welcome that? Number five, it reduces symptoms of menopause. Yes, please, right? Menopause is a frustrating time for women due to many rapid hormonal changes within the body, hot flashes being one of the hardest to cope with. The good news is that tofu can help cut the severity and frequency of hot flashes in menopausal women. A 2018 review, and again, it's a hyperlink, concluded that consuming about 54 grams of isoflavoins, or about a half serving of tofu, for six to eight weeks significantly reduced the frequency and severity of hot flashes. Additionally, the authors of this double-blind, placebo-controlled study, which is the gold standard of studies, tested the main phytoestrogen in tofu, which is gynestin, against estrogen progesterone estrogen progestogen <laughs> estrogen progestogen well therapy which is EPT their conclusion stated gynestine and I may be saying it wrong might have positive effects on hot flashes without a negative impact on the female body they even suggested that gynestine it might be genistein oh genistein G-E-N-I-S-T-E-I-N for the deaf people in the room. <laughs> Genistein could be used as a strategic therapeutic alternative to EPT. Anything natural, we welcome it. Number six, it helps build muscles. Okay, I love that. Despite what you may read in the headlines, tofu is an excellent source of an alternative protein. One serving of tofu has eight grams of high quality plant protein, as well as being considered a complete protein. This means it has all nine essential amino acids that the body cannot produce on its own. Medical professionals recommend a safe upper limit for tofu consumption to five servings per day. That equates to up to 40 grams of protein daily from tofu or other soy products, considering the average daily protein needs for women is 46 grams and 56 for men, it's a fantastic addition to your diet. Number seven, it helps you sleep better. If you want to get better sleep, increase your magnesium intake. Eating more tofu can help you sleep better because one serving has 14% of the recommended daily intake for magnesium. Magnesium helps with sleep by maintaining adequate levels of GABA, it's a hyperlink, which is a neurotransmitter that's involved in deep, restful sleep. On the contrary, low levels of GABA contribute to insomnia and poor sleep. So it's important to maintain adequate levels of GABA throughout the day so that by nighttime, sleep comes easy. Eating tofu along with other high magnesium plant foods like dark leafy greens, nuts, legumes, can help you support adequate levels. Likewise, high magnesium consumption specifically through diet also plays a role in preventing disease. This 2014 analysis, a hyperlink, of over 25,000 people showed that high levels of magnesium are inversely associated with metabolic syndrome. 
Considering metabolic syndrome is a global epidemic and a precursor to diabetes, it's imperative to eat more magnesium in your diet. Number eight, it helps strengthen your bones. Tofu helps strengthen your bones and maintain your bone mineral density. For years, nutrition professionals praised cow's milk as the leader for strong bones, but recent research has disproved that old thinking. Obtaining calcium through plant foods like tofu is much safer, unlike animal products that actually leach calcium from your bones. Tofu seems to have the opposite effect. As an example, one serving of calcium fortified tofu provides whopping 300 milligrams of calcium. It's a hyperlink. That's over one third of the recommended 1,000 to 1,200 milligram calciums daily. There's a ton of calcium in green leafy vegetables too. Dietitians recommend tofu not only for strong bones, but also because, but also to prevent bone loss. Menopausal women in particular because bone loss accelerates during the late stages of menopause and continues through the early postmenopausal stages. So interesting. Number nine, it can lower your LDL cholesterol. The American Journal of Clinical Nutrition published a review of 11 studies and concluded that soy isoflavoids reduce LDL cholesterol by three to 5%. Although the reduction is minimal, the study noted that subjects that were already hypercholesterolemic, which means they're diagnosed with high cholesterol, saw the most benefit. Experts attribute that to proteins and isoflavones found in tofu. They seem to work synergistically to lower levels of LDL cholesterol. Consuming three servings of tofu or other soy products like miso daily yields the best cholesterol-lowering results. Number 10, it promotes kidney health. Yay, yay. Tofu is low in saturated fat and has no cholesterol. These two attributes make a tofu, make tofu a great option to protect the health of your kidneys. Why? Heart disease is a risk factor for kidney disease. Research has shown that high saturated fat intake, particularly animal protein, puts you at risk for heart disease. Therefore, by replacing animal protein with tofu, you improve the health of both your kidneys and your heart. Number 11, it helps you eat less. You now know that one serving of tofu has eight grams of protein. Similarly, you know that protein helps make us feel full, but a new study, hyperlink, helps us understand why. We have a major vein that runs through our gut called the portal vein. Inside the walls of that vein, there are mu opioid receptors that communicate to our brain about when we should eat more or less. These mores, which is that mu opioid receptor, get suppressed when we digest proteins. This is why protein-rich tofu can help you eat less, yet still feel full. Moreover, at just 70 calories per serving, tofu is an ideal food to help you shed those unwanted pounds. I love it. All right, well, that's the half mark, you guys. I'm going to share the second half tomorrow. Um, when these videos get too long, I know you don't have time to stick around. So it's super interesting to me. I always enjoy tofu. Um, I would use it in smoothies to thicken them, dressings to thicken them. Um, I like to make them just in chunks and just put them in salad. Uh, you know, I, I wasn't much for cooking them. You know, I mean, certainly when I used to eat just anything at all, when I was at like a Chinese restaurant, I would get like fried tofu and whatever. But I tr I'm trying very hard to stay away from salt, oil, sugar, you know, any of stuff like that. So... I don't mind just uh, using it. I also, I used to love uh, feta cheese and I like to take tofu and just, you know, go like this and make it seem very feta-ish. <laughs> I have a feta for feta cheese, um, but yeah, no, um, feta is for feta cheese. Uh, so yeah, praise God, I don't participate in animal products, but I think it's a cool option. And, you know, I'm certainly high raw and most of the time pure raw. But I'm always interested in looking into these foods because when I feel like I'm going to fall, I'd like to fall into healthy options like this. All right, my friends, like if you like, join us if you haven't, subscribe. Let me know in the comments below how I may support you. 
And, you know, shout out to 101 Annie, who's Annie Raw. She's such a tremendous blessing. She, you know, gets into this community all the time and takes time to comment. And yesterday was her birthday. Uh, if you haven't checked out her channel on Instagram, you should. She's a phenom. She makes beautiful food. She's completely committed to Raw. And, you know, she's just a good soul. So, happy birthday, Annie. It was yesterday. My life did not allow a video. But, girl... I rejoice in the gift of you on the planet. And until we talk again, best of all, know that you're blessed.